Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here with another devotion from the book of Psalm. So glad you can join me this morning and every morning at 7 a.m. Of course, follow me on my platforms, Nicholas A. Smith, Nicholas A. Smith 1, all the information is on screen. Of course, follow the church, BBC of NJ. Um, our bishop, follow David G. Evans 1. Um, we're in Psalm 27, and we went through verses 1 through 4 yesterday. Uh, today, we're going to be in verse 5 down to verse number 9. Um, Psalm 27, verse 5, and we're going to stop at verse number 9. It says, For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. You need to know that trouble is going to come. It's going to come. It's a part of this life that trouble comes, but he knows how to hide you in his shelter when trouble comes. In the day of trouble, the time of trouble, when trouble is met, it's a sign time, God knows how to answer it with a hiding place. He knows how to answer it with a hiding place. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high on a rock. So not only does he know how to hide you, he knows how to protect you and he knows how to elevate you. He knows how to hide you. He knows how to protect you and he knows how to elevate you. Verse six, how now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. So our response of God lifting us up, God protecting us, watch this, is to be sacrificial with him. Sacrifice from the fruit of your lips. Sacrifice with shouts of joy that I give uh, my praise to him. I give my worship to him with joy and with pleasure. I give from my resources and I give that with joy and with shouts of joy. He says, why? Because he continues to help me. He said, I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Because why? I recognize that he is the one that hides me, conceals me, and exalts me. Verse seven, it says, hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, Seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Who I love this. He says, hear when I cry out to you, Lord. Be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says. Where do you think that comes? Where do you think that come comes from? Comes from God. He said, I prayed, I cried aloud, you're great, be gracious to answer me. And God says, you know what? Come. And when your heart says come, my heart say, uh, come, my heart says, seek his face. All right. God puts it in you to seek his face. And your response to be your face, Lord, do I seek? God puts it in you to search after him. And he says, I want you to abide by that feeling and go search. You may not feel like praying, studying your Bible, connecting to God at that moment. But when your heart says, come, come, seek his face. Seek him while he may be found. Call on him while he is yet near. God wants to hear from you. Verse number nine says, do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You who have been my help, do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. So when you're praying and when you're seeking after God, the prayers don't hide your face from me because sometimes it feels like you're seeking him and he's nowhere to be found. You're praying, no answer, you're seeking, feels like nothing. He says, don't hide your face from me. Turn your serv- Do not turn your servant away in anger. You who have been my help, you have been proven to be my help. And I pray that you be my help one more time. Do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. God is not going to cast you off. God is not going to throw you away. He is the God of your salvation. He knows how to hide you. He knows how to conceal you. He knows how to exalt you. And he knows how to answer your prayer. And God says, if I say come, come. The reason why we get up and watch these and pray in the morning and do these things, because the spirit says come and we say, cool, I'm coming. Thy face do I seek. Today, I want you to make a commitment to seek the face of the Lord. Make the commitment to seek him more and more every single day. He's calling you to him. Because remember, prayer is not a conversation starter. Prayer is a response. God is the first word in the conversation. 
He says, come, we say, okay. He says, son, we say, father, and we move right on in because prayer is a response. Come on, let's pray. Father, I thank you for giving us the ability to talk to you. Um, even when it feels like we're forsaken, we're not because we can come and converse with you. Give you praise today for um, allowing us to have access to you. That in the day of trouble, you know how to hide us. You know how to conceal us. When it looks like our enemies got the best of us, you know how to lift us up. And we give you praise for that. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to experience this moment through prayer once again. Thank you for jumpstarting our morning because today we're going to remember that you are our light. You are our salvation. There's no reason to fear. No reason to be afraid. Your kingdom is always in charge. Thank you, Lord, that when we come to you, you won't hide your face in your anger, but will come to the throne of grace seeking mercy and grace to help us in the time of need. Your mercy is so abundant, and we come with confidence believing that it can happen. I pray that you will keep us, protect us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. Glad you can join me this morning. See you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. as we continue through the book of uh, Psalm. We're still in chapter 27, and uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. God bless you all. See you soon.